Hello again. This video is about um, VR settings and how you can get the best out of your um, out of your uh, flight simulator setup. So, um, so Microsoft flight simulator 2020 as you probably know didn't have the ability to launch in vr uh, when it first came out so i've been flying in um, prepared and in x-plane and they have really moved on in leaps and bounds in terms of the ability to um, to fly in vr their compatibility with different headsets i've now got the reverb uh, g2 which i've said in earlier videos i would 100% recommend it. It is it is not that expensive, but it's relatively not expensive compared to some of the higher end market VR headsets. And it is really, really tremendous in terms of the uh, visibility, the clarity, the field of view, and its ability to run uh, both in Windows mixed reality, but also through the Steam, um, the Steam uh, interface. So there are a couple of things that I think you can do, particularly if you've got a slightly slower machine to get the best out of um, best out of VR. So the first thing for me, particularly if you've got a G2 or a mixed reality headset is make sure that you've got your settings properly set in the mixed reality, the Windows mixed reality um, portal. So under the audio and speech settings, you can set which output is connected automatically when the uh, headset is switched on. You can clear the environment data and reset the home data. And most important tab is the headset uh, display where you can set the visual quality for um, home, but also you can let Windows either choose best visual quality or optimize performance. And that will really help if your computer is struggling and the most important element of this is the resolution you need to check that it's actually picking up the right resolution for your headset and you can also then uh, check um, the hertz the the actual rate at which the um, the uh, visuals are delivered to the monitor and again you can let windows decide or you can pick 60 or 90 hertz these settings you can fiddle around with them can make a pretty big difference to how effective the uh, performance of your headset is depending how fast your computer is. You can play around with these settings and um, the auto settings do re work really really well but they do tend to dial down the resolution a little bit but if your machine is struggling particularly if you've seen my previous video and you found your frames per second are struggling then this might give you an edge and allow um, allow windows to uh, to catch up and to deliver a smoother a smoother performance within um within the simulator so the second bit of the vr tweaks that i wanted to mention and and i should give credit here to um vr flight sim guy he's he's done a lot of videos and a lot of tweaking and a lot of investigation into um, a free program called open x r and i'll put a link um, to to his channel in the comments below and basically open xr is is simply a plugin that allows you to tweak and to improve the way that um, windows mixed reality headsets engage with and deliver um, uh, VR in terms of the res resolution. You download and uh, install the plugin and then uh, select the developer settings and you can see here there are a number of options so you can choose to uh, to run the latest preview I found that doesn't work particularly well with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and my uh, 3090 um, graphics card but you can also choose automatic or always on motion re projection which will help with the projection of the frame rates and most importantly you can pick a custom 
resolution. And this will dial down both the resolution in your headset and in the simulator. It uh, defaults to 100%, but if, if you want to dial it down a little bit, you can play around with this and just see how it affects um, the smoothness and the frames that you're getting. I would recommend not going down below um, 80 percent because I think that takes quite a big hit on um, on the quality of the delivery to your headset. But you can dial it back quite easily to 80 percent if you if you um, if you dovetail that with the um, with the earlier video where you can check frames per second you can see what impact that has on the frame per second and on the smoothness of the sim and it is a pretty easy way simply to get the best out of your machine and it will have big impact if your machine is a little bit slower so that's uh, all I've got for you in this video I hope that was useful uh, if you like it like it um, subscribe and feel free to leave any comments. I'm really interested in what you um, what you think, and I'll catch you next time.